Bombers, their chance has arrived. They'll be playing for the 3A championship at Cameron Stadium uh, this coming Saturday, and they'll be taking on Seminole. Frederick advanced to the championship game with a win over Sulphur. Joining me now, a couple of the members of that Frederick team. Todd Mattoon is closest to me. Cornerback Donald Lax, who plays safety for the Bombers, is next. And then Shannon Grimes, assistant coach. And Coach Grimes, let me start with you. Talk a little bit about the way you guys played in that game against Sulphur. Anytime you throw a shutout in the semifinals, I guess you got to be pretty happy. Yeah, we were real happy with the way the defense, of defense played uh, Saturday night. Um, gave up a little more yardage in there than what we wanted to, but uh, considering the turnovers, the fact that we uh, shut them out was really credit to how we played. Donald, let me talk a little bit about the way this defense has played all year long. It seems like more often than not, some of the guys on the offensive side get most of the of the attention with McCullough at quarterback and Ben at tailback, but you guys have been there all year long, and I mean, it seems like whenever the big games have been around, you guys have come up. What do you think about the way this defense has played all year? Well, every week, uh, week we get better on defense. We work on it a lot. It seems like every week, yeah, we just get better. What happened in that game with Sulphur? Was that one of the better games you guys have played, maybe, you think? Yeah, yeah, really it was. Talk a little bit, about, Todd, about uh, what you're going to see next week. I don't know, you probably haven't had too much of a chance yet to look at what's coming up with Seminole, but uh, uh, do you have any idea of what kind of game you're going to have to play against a, a Seminole in order to win that 3A title? Well, against Sulphur, we shut down their run pretty easy. They passed on us a couple times, but against Seminole, our secondary's got to play lots out. They're quarterback's probably one of the best players we've seen all year and by far the best quarterback probably. So we got to shut him down and one of the receivers real good. So our secondary's going to play lots out. At what point in the season, Todd, did you guys actually believe that you were going to be able to play this far? I mean, it seems like every year that the Frederick team is always going to be one of the ones you need to beat in the Class 3A championship. But still, to make it all the way to the title game, you guys really didn't get a whole lot of respect ranking-wise or that kind of thing probably till about a month or a month and a half into the season. Well, after we Plainview, they gave us a lot of confidence because they were number two at the time. And then the very next week, we had to play Marlowe, and they were number two at the time. But after we beat, the, after we beat Marlowe, that gave us the most confidence. Donald, talk a little bit about the play of the offense. I did go ahead and you know let you talk a little bit about those guys, uh, your guys, and how good they played. But comment about how those guys play on the uh, on the offensive side of the ball. McCullough and Ben seem to really give you guys a lot of cushion to work with most of the time. Well, really on offense, you know, we really had it together, but we know we had to pick it up against Suffer, and they had a good defense. And um, mainly, you know, we just have to get it together and get our spirit up. At this point in the season, do you have to worry about being nervous, or is just the excitement of playing in a championship game good enough to kind of get rid of some of those playoff butterflies you might have had maybe in the first or second week? In a way, you do, because if you lose, you know, you hand it in, and that's it. If you're seen, you know, it's your last year playing high school ball. Coach Grimes, talk a little bit about what you guys are going to do in preparation this week. The game is going to be in, uh, at Cameron. Do you guys plan on trying to come up and work out on the on the artificial turf at all? Will that make any difference one way or the other? Yes, we plan on uh, practicing tomorrow at, at Lawton and then uh, maybe one more time. There, uh, there's some rules concerning uh, uh, the amount of practices right. you can have in relation to what the other <clears throat> your opponent has. Right. And so right now we're not we're not for sure if we're going to get to have two, but we're definitely going to practice on the turf tomorrow and get used to it a little bit. I guess it doesn't really matter, but any disappointment that you didn't get a chance to play Newcastle, or would you just as well have those guys out of the way? Uh, <laughs> we, we don't care who it is. Um, you know, this is the best team because they won the games to get there. And so, uh, you know, probably I guess we'd rather have Newcastle because, you know, Seminole beat them. Todd, you so. said uh, that you thought the team was going to have to play lights out to win the game. Do you think it's going to be a low-scoring game, given on uh, just the way playoff games seem to go? People kind of get a little more conservative as the games go on? Well, we haven't really had any trouble all year putting 21 points up on the board, so I think we can score on them. we just got to shut down their passing game. All right. It will be Frederick versus Seminole for the Class 3A Championship Saturday afternoon at Cameron Stadium in Lawton. Fellas, thanks a lot. Good luck to you. Hope you bring it home. We're going to take another break, and when we come back, it's time to honor.